So this is a typical example of water pressure behind the wall. And you can see this water coming out through the block itself. So much pressure behind there, water's just pushing through. And what they need in here is a sump pump. Um, cut the floor, go ahead and put footer tiles in and relieve that pressure on the block. And you can see what this is, is a crawl space. There's a crawl space behind the wood and you can actually see the water coming clear up into the wood. There's water damage on the wood. To just install your sump pump, you're going to need to remove that concrete floor. You can use a jackhammer or you can use a concrete saw or you can use both. Here we're putting the concrete saw down into the floor. Remember that floor is already underwater so we don't need to add water to uh, keep our blade cool. This takes a little bit of work but you can easily cut this floor with the concrete saw. Once the floor is cut and removed it'll be pretty easy for you to install your sump pump. This is one of the harder parts of the job. Remember that you can rent these tools from your local tool company for about $50 for half a day. When running your saw, make sure that you take out or make the cuts large enough for you to take out enough concrete that you're easily able to excavate. You don't want to have to run that saw again unless you have to. It puts out a lot of carbon monoxide down in the basement area. Okay, so we used the concrete saw, cut out a few a section here for the footer tile, also cut out a section for the sump pump. Now we're going to break the floor with the pry bar, remove that, excavate, install. So now using the pry bar, we go ahead and crack that floor. Hard to see it because it's underwater, but it'll come out of there. We've already cracked one piece, we just got to get one piece out, and then you can just pull out the rest of the pieces fairly easily. Your first piece out is always the hardest piece, and then it comes out pretty simply. You might even turn it, turn the bar around, Derek, see if you can get that point under it. Get through it. So we're using our hammer drill with a paddle on it because it's so hard to dig down in this dirt. We're only down about half ways right now. We still have a long ways to go. And really hard, hard soil. Sometimes you come across it. Nice to have all the tools. You know, job do-it-yourselfer. It's the tough one, but you can definitely do it. Yeah, you're about oh, three quarters of the way once you clean that out. You're pretty close. So we have our site dug out here for the pit. Now what we're doing is we're just excavating a little bit so we can get over to the block wall and so that water can enter our trench. Then we'll plumb it up. I already started the plumbing here. We'll bring it up through this wall. We've already cored the outside where it goes out through the foundation wall and we'll plumb it outside. The pump's gonna lift it up out of this hole. We'll clean that out, take the bucket out of there, put our sump pump in there, lift it up, and pump it right out of here. Okay, so we have our pit dug out. You're down through the concrete floor. As you can see, it goes way down there. There's a little section of footer tile. Footer tile drains the block wall, but in these old crawl space basements where they've dug it out, I don't know if you can see, but there is no block wall. So if you look under this floor, you'll notice that there is no wall. They built this block wall right here. They built the block wall and used the floor as the footer, which is not a really good idea because the floor is only three or four inches thick. Footer needs to be at least eight inches thick to hold up any type of structure. And um, we're going to go ahead and put gravel underneath of that floor all the way as far as we can back up under there. Now we're, we've excavated all the way around under the floor to where the block is. We're going to put gravel under there to help drain that area out from underneath there. Okay, so let's go ahead and set our sump pump and finish plumbing the discharge up and out through the foundation wall. You cut your riser, go ahead and stick a 90 on the top of it where it's going to come across the floor another 90 to the side 
using your saw or something, make a measurement for your piece of pipe that's going to run across from the sump pump to the first 90. Use your hacksaw to cut your inch and a half PVC. Right now we're just dry fitting things together to make sure we've got good plumbing going through. Measure your final piece. Remember that you measure to the inside of the coupling. That's where your cut will be. Finally we glue it all together and we're done. So we've got our sump pump installed. <clears throat> Got a nice solar pump down in the bottom. Footer tile goes along that little section there which is cut out. You can see it's plumbed over. We come up, we go out through the foundation wall. There's actually a crawl space behind this brick wall. We drilled through the brick to bring it out of the foundation wall. Now we're going to go ahead and pour gravel and then we'll clean it up, pour our concrete, and we're done. You can see our footer tile that runs into the sump pump. This tile actually is perforated, and what it does is it picks up the water under the floor and just helps it get down into the sump pit. The four inch, four inch pipe, and as water moves under the floor, under this block wall, under the floor, it'll enter our system. The sump pump lifts it up, and you can see it plumbs it right out through the wall. Okay, so you can see what we've done to help solve this basement problem is that we've trenched out a section for footer tile which comes over to the sump pump. Unfortunately, this is a, not a basement wall. This is a crawl space. Behind this particle board is crawl space. There's nothing else there. There's no footer underneath of this floor and they built the wall on the floor. Really poor, poor idea. But we're trying to solve the basement problem. You can see it flooded down here. Sump pump lifts it up, plumbs it out, and you can see it goes through the crawl space. There's a crawl space here. There's dirt down there. We, we plumbed it right through the wall and brought it all the way outside. The sump pump's going to lift this water up and carry it away. The next thing we'll do is start to wash this down, and of course there's hardly any water pressure. But we'll wash off this whole area, then we'll put our concrete down here and seal up the floor. <laughs> Somebody else's jacket too. <laughs> so, after many trips up and down these stairs, all the way out to the back, dumping all the soil, which we still need to grade out, <laughs> we have installed over here in the corner a sump pump with a small section of footer tile that runs right along here. Remember that's gravel perforated pipe. That allows the water to move under the floor into your system and then be carried away. Put our gravel in there, covered it up with this queen plastic, and then we pour the concrete on the top. And the line comes out, goes through the wall, the foundation wall, which is actually over there. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.